white pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'll ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Tribok champion. Yeah, three years in a row, according to Lizzie. There, you see? He's the only one here who could have built such amazing traps. Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? I... I, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. And you just expect me to believe that? Seems to me that your name's been coming up connected to that flint and steel a lot today. But I want to ask, do you think the white pumpkin is Stampy Cat? Yeah, actually, yeah I do. With the costume and the crazy games, it's got Stampy Cat written all over it. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor? Pretty much been sticking to ourselves. So hard to say. I mean, the way they keep throwing each other on the minecart tracks, it's like they're all guilty. Well, if there's one person who can untangle it, it's you. <laughs> Thanks, Lucas. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. So? Have you decided? Yes. Who do you think the white pumpkin really is? Now, hang on. Hang on, everyone. First of all, I want to thank everyone for answering my questions. There's still not 100% proof of anyone, but... But... Yes. Where are your suspicions, Lady Jesse? Jesse was definitely questioning Stampy the longest. What? No! Dan was in there way longer. Hey, not cool. Guys, guys, come on. Having gone through all the evidence, I'm leaning towards Dan right now. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you serious? Are you really serious right There's now? There's just way too much drama around Dan wanting his flint and steel back. It's pretty suspicious. Guys, guys, you're not really listening to this, are you? I say we lock him up in the library. Figure out what to do with him in the morning. I fully endorse this plan. Sorry, Dan, but we can't take any chances no, here. No, this is nuts. I'm not the white pumpkin. Aren't you hearing how crazy that sounds? Well, that was certainly some excitement. Yeah, no kidding. If the white pumpkin is still roaming around, though, he might be trying to set up more traps. We need to figure out how these things work. Like, we know that the sparkles trap was triggered by those buttons under the table, but what about the trap that turned Torque Dog into a pincushion? If we figure out how these things work, we might be able to find more proof about who the White Pumpkin is, how they're operating. I'm not sure, but the White Pumpkin didn't trigger it until Torque Dog was in the exact right spot. That means he must have been watching from somewhere. Creepy. Yes. Seems like it might be worth our while to poke around the kitchen. You guys go on ahead. I'm gonna stay here, keep an eye on these other people. I don't want them trying anything when we're not looking. Thanks, Lucas. Back in the kitchen. So, what are we looking for exactly? Buttons like back in the dining room? This whole house could be full of traps. I just want to make sure this place is safe before someone gets hurt. An excellent plan. Does this painting have eye holes? Oh, yeah. How did I not notice that before? Seems worth taking a closer inspection. Oh! It's some sort of secret passageway. Very clever. What do you suppose that lever does? 
Okay, everyone, make sure you're nowhere near that arrow trap. More of those potion-covered arrows. Nasty. Well, looks like we found out how the White Pumpkin killed Tork Dog. Yeah, and how he's getting around the house. I assume we're investigating the creepy passageway? I think we've come too far to turn around now. Well, after you then. I hope Dan's okay locked up in the library. We could have put them in even bigger danger. What if there are more traps in there? Unless Dan is the White Pumpkin. In that case, we're just keeping everyone else safe. Yeah, I guess. I just hope we find what we're looking for. What do you think that is? No idea. But look! A lever! The amount of redstone wiring that must be hidden in this place. Amazing! Ooh, mystery lever. I wonder what it does. You're not gonna pull it, are you? No. Don't feel bad. I was tempted to. See anything that this lever might be connected to? It's the library. I see Dan locked up in there. Lizzie, what are you doing in here? I snuck in past that blonde guy. Lucas, I think. We have to talk. About what? I know you pushed the button. No, that's not true. You don't have to lie to me, Dan. I know it was an accident. I know you're not the White Pumpkin. Oh, thank goodness. That's such a relief. Yeah, it was an accident, and I felt awful about it ever since. Oh, it's such a relief to be able to talk about this. It's been absolutely terribly up inside. I'm sure. I just... Haven't you learned anything about not pushing buttons? The White Pumpkin, oh, he's come in on. there! Nothing like oh, let's this has ever happened when I pushed a button. I feel just... so awful. Yeah. What... what on earth? Keep 
This guy, this guy's fit. <laughs> there! Jesse, I'll cut him off! Ah! <sighs> uh. Lucas? Give me a moment. I'm trying to figure this one out myself. What happened, Lucas? I thought you were chasing the white pumpkin. Uh, yeah, I was. And I almost had him until, you know, he took me by surprise and stuck this pumpkin on my head. What? What's going on in here? No! <gasps> you called the white pumpkin! Grab him, quick! On it! Get out of our way, Jesse. Yeah, it's all out in the open now. You can't defend your friend anymore. Come on, you guys, think about it. Lucas would have never had the time. That's not exactly much assurance. You two have been constantly running around this mansion with no one watching you. Yeah, for all we know, maybe you're his little accomplice or something. It's the facts, Jesse. These horrible things only started happening when your group arrived. And now, Lizzie is gone too. I say we throw him outside and let nature take its course. What? Out outside, outside? Where all the googlies are? No, you can't do that. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I still have my suspicions about Lucas, but Jesse did save me. I don't feel right about chucking your friend to the zombies. Hm. Brave stance. Thank you. See? You all heard Dan, right? Fine. Thank you. Don't go celebrating yet. We've still got to do something with you so you're not roaming around freely. What? Like, lock me up in a closet or something? There was a closet in the main hall with a lovely metal door. Seems like a perfect place to lock someone up. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> I was mostly joking. I guess that's fair. But I'm keeping guard because I still don't trust him. That cool with everyone? That's funny, because I don't trust you. It's fine, Jesse. I'll watch over Lucas. Awesome. Come on, Cassie. But don't go getting any funny ideas, blonde guy. This isn't because I like you or anything. No, of course not. Be quiet. Prisoners aren't supposed to talk. Okay, but well, what are we supposed to do now? We need to figure out how we're going to clear Lucas's name. Somehow the White Pumpkin was able to escape that room when Lucas chased him into it. We need to figure out how he did that. Sounds like a plan to me.
another secret passage. Well, this looks promising. I wonder what order these need to be in. Seems right. Okay, that seems like a step in the right direction. Oh, wow! You got it open! Yeah, you guys should stay here. It could be dangerous. No, I totally want to follow you into your friend's creepy secret passageways. Ugh, seriously? Petra, let it go, okay? They're just scared. But if she says something like that again... Yeah, I really wouldn't want to be there for that. Come on. Wow, that is deep. Guess it leads down to whatever the White Pumpkin calls home. I wonder how he gets down there. Maybe in addition to walking through walls, he can fly for all we know. Ugh! It's just... I'm really worried about Lucas. Those people think they're all safe, but the White Pumpkin is still running around, and he could strike again at any minute. Not to mention, all those people back there have been so ungrateful, so petty. Petra, I get that you're upset, but would you stop taking it out on me? I'm trying here. Okay, okay, okay. I'm really sorry. We're gonna get through this. Let's start by figuring out how we're gonna get down there, huh? You know the drill. What have you got in your inventory? Didn't you have all those wood blocks? Sorry, I was whittling earlier. Nervous habit. Well, luckily those should do just the trick. You thinking ladder? Yeah. Gonna need a lot of them. I'll race you. <laughs> You're on. already finished yours. Yup. Slowpoke. <laughs> Thanks. I needed that. All right, we got a lot more of these to make. Let's get to work. Okay, that's one down. Lots more to go. <sighs> See? Told you we'd make it. Yeah. I just hope this works. You think we're gonna find the white pumpkin down here? With all these secret passageways? Nah, I think he's still upstairs. We should still be prepared for anything. Hey, do you hear... Lots and lots of zombies? Yeah, I do. I'm starting to smell. 